Tonight on PM Express, the big picture. The big picture about this shatter Wally hoax. This shooting hoax that was created in the part of the shutter movement served to the rest of the country. That has gone horribly bad for him. He is still behind bars as the police has told us. And I know that there's a lot of talk about um, getting him uh, bailed tonight. But there is a bigger conversation there to be had. It's about this thirst for stardom. You see, yes, yeah, Satawale is a star already. He did the collaboration with Beyonce. Yes, it is. But this goes beyond him. Have you noticed how so-called celebrities, artists, etc. They need to do something outrageous almost every now and then to stay relevant. Tonight, we're going to have that conversation. How do you balance that um, staying relevant as an art? as an artist, but also um, getting yourself out of trouble. What sort of bad press is good press if you're talking about artists? And in a country like ours, with a society such as ours, um, how do you manage that? Should we be copying blindly from the West as we've seen Kanye West has changed his name to Ye? Have you seen his haircut recently? But that is what the industry does to you. We're going to be getting into those details shortly, looking at that inside story. And trust me, we're getting people who are joining me tonight who really have the lowdown on that inside story. So what is the police saying? Police saying, listen, forget about it. Um, the man said, Tawale hasn't been granted bail. We spoke to the police um, you know, spokesperson who told us that. And so possibly he's going to be spending the night behind bars. We're going to get the latest on this for my um, guests who are joining me. We've also been speaking, getting a bit more from Alexander Obeng uh, of the police service, uh, who has told us that uh, Sata and Sata and three others, including uh, the prophet will be arraigned before court in the coming days. You're wondering how the prophet gets in the mix here. Well, it appears it's the prophet's prophecy that Shatawale will be shot, will be killed, that may have inspired this. It's that Shatta himself had posted on the Facebook wall claiming that he is going to be on the run until the law works, until the police get to do their job because he felt he, had, he, felt he had been threatened by the prophet and the police had not done anything to protect him. And so he, what he thought he could do was, as we've seen, fake this shooting incident. That has what has landed him. This, that's what has landed him in this trouble, uh, as we've seen. Right, as we look at this, that's him there in handcuffs. That's the man riding so high now in handcuffs. Why? Because he may have gotten this horribly wrong. Indeed has. Um, and what did he do? He was arrested, allegedly involvement in, as we know, uh, creation and circulation of information. And this, according to the police, intended to cause fear and panic. And the police have told us that the other three are also in the custody uh, for spreading false information because it's, they have connived with him, right? In that post, he mentioned their names, two of them in particular, in connection with this alleged gunshot attack on him. He had claimed that he had been shot at East Ligon, broad daylight shooting. And the police, East Ligon is an enclave known for a lot of police visibility. The police were wondering, how come Shatawale, such a popular individual, will be shot and nobody knows about it? So they, set, they sent out a team looking for him. They, they spoke to his father, they went to his home, nowhere to be found. They had to issue a statement that they're actually looking for him, asking the public to come forward with information. Then it turns out, the man himself goes around on his Facebook page claiming that he had done this, just simply um, played a very expensive prank on all of us. The police had to use very important resources, expend that to look for a man who was simply, you know, playing a prank on us. And that is why they are very upset tonight. And as we've learned, um, they, they've done some preliminary investigations. A widely reported gunshot never indeed happened. Complete hoax. Uh, and... The police are telling us that they are going to be charging him three possible uh, charges he may face, which may include, if he's convicted, jail term. Jail term. That's how bad this is. Um, including spreading of false information with intention to cause fear and panic. They want to keep things that the police have told us tonight. Now, he's also likely to be charged with causing fear and panic, as we've said already, publication of false information also. Now, we need to have this conversation. Because this goes beyond Shatawale. We've seen others. Right recently, we've seen Funny Face. Many believe his Albus threatening to kill the 
uh, the, the ex-wife is part of this whole agenda to create, draw some attention to himself. Um, we've seen others in this country do the same. Two acts, in fact, Shatter and Stoneboy drew guns. And that is, in essence, something we've seen in this country for so long. Remember this so-called celebrity who was seen naked with the child? Again, another big story. He went to court. It, it, it generated a lot of conversation, both here and internationally. This keeps happening. Um, so it's not only Shatter. They, they do this. But why do they keep doing this? Um, and how do you walk that fine line? There are some celebrities that have been out of the spotlight, but do very well. Sarkodie, when was the last time he had any major controversy around him? He's, he's doing well. He's, he's, as, he's as popular. Maybe a shatter. Some may disagree. You know, this is tribal. But, so, of course, we've also seen the likes of, mentioned them, the greats of this country. Um, you know, we didn't see that. But, but what has changed now? We're going to get into that very shortly. Big conversation, big guest. They know it all. They're joining me. Stay with me here. Fascinating conversation about when you on PM Express. And thank you for joining us and staying with us here on PM Express. A very interesting conversation. Uh, you've heard, you've followed. Let's break it down. What really, really happened? But also, what is a big story here? Because it's not only Shatter we're going to look at. Because it's a, it's a whole big story. Whole bigger issue than, than Shatter. Joining me right now uh, to have the conversation, George Quay is a radio personality. He himself work in, in the entertainment industry. Uh, has been there, has done that. Uh, joins us via Zoom, uh, chilling with his hood. Uh, as you see him there in, uh, <laughs> in the comfort of um, wherever he is. Uh, George, thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, also uh, joining us, also via Zoom, is Arnold Asamoa Beru. Uh, also joining us uh, is an entertainment pundit, by the way. Uh, you've seen him all over, uh, giving some very interesting views on a lot of things. And I'm delighted that he joins us also via Zoom tonight. Um, I have a few individuals joining me in the studio shortly. I'll introduce them. But we'll be joined later by lawyer Bobby Banson, um, works with a lot of the players in the industry, knows a thing or two about the law when it comes to um, what Shatter had been charged with. And he has a very unique understanding of the entertainment industry as well. And so we invited him to join us. And in the studio, as I said, is Andy Dossi. Uh, he himself is a musician, and he's been relevant for a very long time. In fact, he's one of those grandpapas of the industry, I must say, because way back, 15 years ago when I used to rap, you didn't know that. Um, yes, I, I used to listen to him. Um, he used to do crank music back in the day with, when Richie and the crank was, was hit. Me You're right. Exactly. I know, I know my stuff. <laughs> um, he joins us, and he's a, he's a host of the Hits FM Morning Show. Uh, what, what is it called again? Daybreak Hits. Tomorrow he's on. Make sure you watch him. And another man who uh, I, had, I had spoken to years ago on Ghana Connect, uh, I had actually found on the internet and, and got my producers to call him. And then later I realized that he's actually a very, very big one in the industry. Uh, I'm delighted that he's joining me. He's uh, Kwame Ajiman Berko. Uh, he's a writer. He's the head of communications at Stone Boys Benetton Music Group. Um, and he, I'm, I'm delighted that he joins me because he comes to this conversation from a point of view of, um, he works with another big art, and, and I'm, I want to tap into that. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, but um, Andy, let me start with you because you remember I called you. <laughs> was it ya last night or two nights ago? Uh, last night. Last night. When this news was all over the place, it was trending. No, two nights ago. Two nights yes. ago, yes. This was trending, and I was, everybody was trying to confirm what was happening. And I know you've spoken to him this year a lot of times on your show. He's almost always on your show, creating mm -hmm. controversy. So I said, you must know something. And then I was called, your phone was busy. And I'm pretty sure that it was <laughs> related yeah, to yeah, because what, I was what was happening. To find out what was going on. So what, what happened? Um, hmm, we all know what happened. But I made a call to one person who calmed me down by telling me that, you know what, don't worry. From the look of things, it's a hoax. That's what you told me, actually. Uh -huh. I didn't want to believe because the news in me, I, I, it must be something there. Uh -huh. So, listening or hearing from that person, I just laid back and felt like, oh, well, that's, 
allow them to do whatever they're doing. But then the news kept going on and on. So I called Shatawale's sister, Karen, who's a very good friend of mine. I kept calling, and her phone was busy. So I felt like, hey, then something could be happening. About an hour or two later, she sent me a message that she would call me the next day. I didn't hear from her. So I called Prince Chega. Then Chega said, oh, I called the father. And he claims he doesn't know where he's Shatter's going. father. Yes. And listening to him, he didn't seem too bothered. <laughs> I mean, someone who, who saw me having shot, definitely you, you, you'll be panicking. So he felt like, oh, it may be one of those things, so I shouldn't even worry. So I went to bed. Then the next day I woke up. And it was all... Whole hoax. You know, another person who warned us, in fact, when we were calling, trying to confirm, George Quay, uh, one of my colleagues called, and he said he, he won't put it behind Shatter. Uh, George, what, what was it that got you to, to, be, to be that confident when everybody else was panicking? And you said you won't put it behind, be, uh, beyond him to do this, to create this just for whatever reason. The story, first of all, did not add up. I mean, um, it just didn't add up. This is Shatawale, arguably one of the biggest acts we have in Ghana. Shot in broad daylight at East Legon. Look, social media would have been splashed with images, with videos, with all sorts of items. You'd have, whatever hospital he had been taken to would have been out there. People would have said, oh my goodness, I was just at this hospital. Shatawale has just been rushed in. He's been shot. And you would have heard his... Um, Look, Shatawale has one of the most outspoken managers in the industry. Voodoo wouldn't have been quiet. I mean, uh, Chris Connie is a media person. If it were true, his camp would have issued an official statement, something. And um, I mean, it just didn't add up. If it were anybody else, I mean, if it were, probably say Andy Dosti. I mean, Andy Dosti is very, very popular, but we all know compared to Shatawale, Shatawale's following is way larger. So, um, yeah, we could have argued it that way. But when I looked at the reaction of the followers, uh, Shatawale never, ever moves alone. He hardly moves alone. And Shatawale wouldn't be shot, and his followers would be quiet. Mm. So when I looked at what I was seeing on social media, when I got the call from Jair, I remember Philip Nye called me, Noela Karinyali called me, and all I said was, don't pay any attention to it. Do not publish. Do not write anything. Don't post anything. Don't say anything. It can't be true. Let's 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 hold on. Even if it is true, let's not rush to be the ones to put it out there. And um, I felt embarrassed for certain media organizations who yeah. rushed to put it out there. I, I felt pretty embarrassed for them, you know. And uh, so, um, I mean, it just didn't add up. If you are in the media space, I mean, you should be a bit more curious. Curiosity is one of the things that drive journalists. And um, this didn't tickle my, it didn't tickle my curiosity enough. So I just didn't think yeah, it, it was true. worth it. It is Shatawale we are talking about, not George Quay yeah. or Andy Dusty. Uh, but Kwame, what about you? I mean, um, that night, um, you play in this space. So what, what, what was the first you saw? What was it, what did, when did it come to your attention first that this might have happened? I think um, when it broke on Twitter. And, um, was there a video? Somebody was suggesting there was some. There's a video. Uh, then we might have missed. I might have missed, missed that it, okay. video. And if he I didn't see the video, no, there was also a video. He, no, he, was, he said there was, um, there was a write-up. He no, no, claimed no, no, Andy, he was there. Andy, there was this video of Shata, um, sort of um, patched with plaster and bandage, and um, oh, okay. yeah. So there's a video, but the timing of the release of that video, if it is indeed at the height of this whole um, um, nonsense, then it means that um, I mean, it's going to be instructive on I mean, proceedings subsequent to him making yeah. an appearance in court. But again, uh, I didn't have the benefit of listening entirely to what he was saying, addressing in the video, because again, it's Shatawali. And um, he, if, if George Quay says he wouldn't, he had admonished um, staff to not post or publish. There's a science behind that. He says that he wouldn't put it beyond Shatter. Mm -hmm. It's not because he's a, um, like he's the smartest around. It's because there's a, a consistently he's been inconsistent, like Anon will say, <laughs> some of these things. So 
um, yeah, we were lucky. I was lucky to also have. Um, Did you post? Because I know you are very active. Yes, I posted reaction to um, the nonsense, but not. What did you say? Did you say? Did you? Did you believe? Or you? You posted? You doubted it? I I posted that. Um, and, I mean, I, I, I'm seeing a cow and chicken situation, you know, when you just oppose that to a yeah. funny face, you know, two stalwarts of the industry okay, okay, yeah. in prison and um, in police cell and cooling it off. And for reasons why, um, for reasons I believe are avoidable and unnecessary. So, um, yeah, I was sort of making plain on the whole thing, but not because I believe that Shatter had been shot. No, Shata knew where he was, and um, luckily for us, it's a, it did not extend beyond uh, a 24-hour period. That would have really, really caused a lot of, um, I mean, issues. Followers, I mean, people like myself, we all listen to, I was just playing Shata's music. We all love you Shata. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're in Stoneboy's uh, Stone camp. Yes, and um, I'm sure he also listens to somebody else's true, music. True. We are all music fans at the end of the day, but I'm saying that, me and Bandana, if any... And by the way, if you're wondering, Bandana is Shatta Wale in the past, before he yes. became Ibri Brothers so, Shatta. God forbid if anything should dog his steps. That's a, a continental disaster. In, in fact, BBC reported it. So that's how... BBC like, like, this again, morning, it was, it was on BBC. Maybe Andy might not make BBC because of his popularity, yeah. but I most certainly want to make BBC if anybody should cut off my head. Do you understand? Rasa, you even make you, you even make joy news. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you know, so um, again, this is Shatta, yeah. the one of the yo on the continent. Do you understand? So if it had dragged beyond the period which we suffered, then or we labored to get news or confirmation. You also trying to confirm? Yeah, I mean, like I'm saying, this is not a nobody. Okay. This is our brother. Uh, if if we are hoping that we hit certain heights on the global stage with our music. He's, he's not outside of the top five brackets of potential who could make it happen for us. So again, you cannot, and as an industry player, I cannot sit and be disinterested, but I was looking at it from, yo, this is shatter. There's a long rap sheet of situations where, you know, this wouldn't be beyond him. And like George itemized, there were certain cardinal people in, within his circles who would, ordinarily would have expected that they chime in with a thought or two. In fact, that night, we called Bulldog. His phones were up. Well, yeah, yeah. Wise guy. Were up. Wise guy. He's seen enough. I mean, why would you want to be involved? Well, listen, principal characters in this whole charade, fast if you want, are slightly old boys, you know, like yellow kids. And so there are two of them. Who are they? The police have two of them. The two of them. Um, there's this his dope. road manager, Nana Dope, and yeah. um, um, there's this other guy yeah. who's also with him, and then he himself. But again, these are not kids. So if you have um, been in similar situations in the past, and you haven't learned, and you proceed to pull this off in the manner in which you did, yeah then you, you know why you did what you did. He, he has an explanation, though. We, we put up Arnold, do, you, do I have Arnold with me on, on Zoom? OK, we'll get Arnold. Because he put, after this whole thing, he went on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Then he puts an explanation. Yes. Right? Claiming he's going to be on the run until the, 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 the law works in this country, mm -hmm. you know, lambasting the country because he had been threatened. Um, you, you saw that, Andy? Yes, that's what I'm even trying to yeah. get for you. OK, so. Well, most of them are with insults, and so yeah. I, mean, I think the first post that came, he said, "This is what I have to say." That was the caption. Yeah. Um, then it says, "Psychological or emotional trauma is damage or injury to the psyche after living through an extremely frightening or distressing event, and it may result in challenges in functioning or coping normally after the event." The statement made by this false prophet has gotten me in a mood of violence, since no one in this country cares. Yeah. So the police of this country want to tell me none of them saw those threatening statements online to take action. This pastor said 18 October, Shatawale will be shot. And you want to tell me you didn't see from you, cybercrime department, nor did you hear or came across anything like that online. So he was addressing the police. Yes. I want to wait for Ghana police to call my father and tell my father his son got shot this afternoon. I want to wait for Ghana. Excuse my language. Well, let me, I'm reading what yeah, you're Yeah, 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 yeah. 
stupid media houses to spread news to my fans about me being shot because all we wish in this country is for dead people and funerals. If my life can be threatened and there is no law to take actions on that, then I guess I'll do what is right in the eyes of God. It's quite lengthy. So Yeah, so what is right what in the like, eyes yeah. of God is what he decides to do. I mean, and, and the, the, there's a part of it that struck me where he says that um, uh, if my life can be threatened, okay, that's what, this is not the first time I have had these threats uh, and, and my dad, yes. and then he mentions that, has even defended me on radio. Mm. Yes, my life is in danger and I am on the run till this, till country. this country shows me there are laws. Well, there are laws. Right. Um, right. And, then he, yeah. and then he goes on to mention the people who he did this with. And this is the part that really got me. He said, deportee, I'm sorry for taking your phone. Right. Then he says, dope, dope, sorry for taking your phone. Mm. So he's telling us that he used the, those, and those are the two people who are, who are behind no, I, I, I think deportee, deportee is not. It's yet to um, be inside at our cost. You know, he's still out there, I believe. They haven't found him? Um, from what Shatter says, Shatter implicates the police yes. phone. Okay. So the list that came out of um, persons who have been held in custody and have been denied bail as I yet, Deportee's name is not. It's not on it. So, so I don't know if um, maybe. Can I come in? Yes, yes. You see, um, I, I would beg to differ slightly when my dear brother Rasta calls it the nonsense or farce that happened. Look, let's not kid ourselves. If there's anybody who understands how to manipulate or manipulate in a right way, not negatively, manipulate the fourth estate to his advantage to push his brand very well. One person who's done it very well over the years is Shatawali. We cannot take it away from him. Look, I don't know which communication school the dude attended, but in communications theory or whatever it is, there's something we call the stimulus response theory, or you can also call it the magic bullet. Like it or yes, Shatawale knows how to. This is PM Express, and what are we doing? We're spending an hour discussing Charles Ni Amamensa. If that is not genius, what is? Mm -hmm. This is major. This is the show that discusses the biggest political issues in the country. If the president caught a code, this is the show that would discuss it. And of all the artists in the world, this show is spending time discussing Shatawale. It is not nonsense. It is genius. You see, I mean, celebrities, showbiz personalities globally have used um, stunts. Some have worked. Some haven't quite worked. Um, I remember, Andy, uh, when did Timbalik release um, Crimea River? Um, was it, I think, 2003, 2002? And, 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 George, and George, just yes. to buttress, buttress your point you made earlier, this is BBC about Shatawale 10 hours ago. Uh -huh. And I want to quote exactly. what he said at the beginning. He says, one of Ghana's most popular singers, Shatawale, has been arrested hours after he said he was on the run uh, over fears of his life. And then he had posted on Facebook that his life is in danger. They don't only do that. They go and then they tell you a history of the man. And then they exactly. have Africa, they put it on an Africa Live page. And then it exactly. says, updates on this. You, and then they so this is BBC, and this is not just, an, and well, that's, that's, what my, that's what my producers are showing on television. Um, yes. Hardly would they do that on the BBC main exactly. side. This was not on the BBC, it's the BBC main side. Yes, and this is not Burner Boy. This is not Davido or Whiskey. This is our own Shatawali. This is not anybody else. And we think it is, look, it is genius. I mean, um, we may look at it negatively because naturally there are negative effects. Yeah. Like it or yes, it may be deception of a sort and all that. But it's showbiz. I was talking about Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake at the time had a, look, I think people call no, that them was about the two, finest 2002, couple. 2002, 2002, 2003, thereabouts. Yeah. They call them the finest couple. I think it was Justin and Britney Spears, was it? Yeah. And they had a relationship, and they had just had a fallout. Then the gentleman released uh, Crimea River. And when you look at the video of Crimea River, he used a lady that looked just like Britney. And the story, the lyrics in the song all pointed to the direction of infidelity, stirring up some controversy that made people start to ask, why? Did, did she cheat on him? How did they do it? What happened? And all that. And guess what? The song went ahead to win him a Grammy. So what are we talking about? In showbiz, if they are not talking about you, that is when you're doing something wrong. Let's not kid ourselves. I am not endorsing Shatawali's style. But, but yeah, Kwame has an interjection. 
Kwame has yes. an interjection. Kwame. George, um, I think on, on, yes. the, on your position, we would have to um, agree to disagree okay. because you just explained um, Justin Timberlake's situation, and in my estimates, so that's pure genius taking advantage of a real life situation that these two principal characters were involved mm. and then transpose it into art and to, to get to the height of winning a Grammy. You see, Shatter's incident is not the same. It is entirely different. This is a no, 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 no. I'm, you, you, Then you're missing the context. The context I'm speaking about stands. That but this is not yes, a stunt. This Does is... Shatter also take advantage of something? Yes. Please. A pastor, and I've said it before that if a pastor dares mention me, my name, George Quay, and says on so so and so date, someone is going to shoot me dead, I'm going to report to have that pastor arrested first. How do I know he's not the one who's going to organize to have me shot? Mm. So, so the bit How about. Would I know? The bit and perhaps this is the point Chatawale has been trying to make that we are not getting. And look, it is serious. Pastors in this country seem to just understand how to preach doom. I have never heard a pastor say Ivan Spencer is going to be president of Ghana in 2032. No, but George, the pastor <laughs> bit is a completely different yeah. conversation. Let me learn. No, Quam you see, Listen. we are talking about taking advantage of situations. And I think Shatter did take advantage of a situation. He didn't do it on October 1st. So, he didn't so, do it on that October 7th. So, so, like, so, yeah. October 18th, the day yeah. that it had pre been predicted to happen. If that is not taking advantage of a situation, then what is? George, George hold on. else did we expect him to do it? George, hold on. But George is making a point about, and, and that was the conversation we had, this test for stardom. Shut up. So many argue, and let me bring you in, um, Andy, because you're also a musician. I'll, come, I'll bring you to, you can also come in when you... Okay. Many say, shut up, shut up's brand. You mentioned Bandana. Bandana was not a successful brand. Yes. He did Bandana from Ghana. That was the, that was it. That was the thing. Mm. And then he dropped off the air, face of the earth, mm goes to rebrand, comes back very controversial. Mm. He's been this successful because of stance like this. Right. True or false? True. Yeah, I mean, so what is wrong with this one? What, what is the difference here? You, you, are, you are an artist. What, what, where did he get it wrong? Um, I'm sure he didn't measure or he didn't see the extent this could take him. Okay. Because look, where he is, I mean, at whose peril? Himself. And then implicating... Two, uh, two or three others. You understand? So for me, um, I, I think he didn't know the extent. He didn't measure. I'm sure he felt like, oh, it's one of them. He, he, he could just put it out, out there, and then there will be some bars around it, and you'll go away with it. Evans, you... you how, how important... For, forgive me, I'll come to you. As a musician, how important is this to a brand? I mean, <laughs> have you done anything like that? Have you sat down, woken up one morning and said, and it does tell you, my career is dipping. Um, Unfortunately, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Because you've been in the game for so long, right? Yeah. Have you sat one morning and said, I need to do something to um, rebrand or... Yeah. Evans, don't mind Andy. Yeah, I've done some. I, but, I'm, Andy, I'm serious. I'm, I'm asking a serious question. What, what did I do, George? What did I do? Have you seen this 1K video? What? Have you seen this 1K video? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, he did That's a 1K video. In that video. What, what you should that? go and watch that 1K video. Well, that tell one us, because I'm going to pull it up. Oh, so, come on, man. What did you do that video? No, no, no. I just, I just needed it's something that... No, I, I needed something that, that could generate some talkability. Okay. Right? Ah, oh, um, <laughs> but when I took it home and my kids were running away from it, I felt like... Mm. But you, you, you had done it already? Yes, and I'd spent so much cash on it. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I needed to pay for it. You know, but yeah... <laughs> But why did you have to bring that in anyway? <laughs> but that is a conversation we are having. I mean, but, but I'm, I'm curious. Why did you do it? I mean, Joy, hold on. Why did you do that? Why, but, but what did you do, by the way? What, what was it? No, just uh, quite an explicit. Um, I, I needed something not 18, but rated 16. In fact, I, I premiered it on Joy Prime, and, and Park was the director. was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you right there? <laughs> and I felt like, okay, then uh, I'm about to achieve my aim. Okay. You know, yes. So it, it's good sometimes you need to pull it out, but you need to look over your shoulder. Okay. Sometimes. Did, did it help you though? Did, in, overall, did you achieve your objective of getting the talk a bit about your brand? I, I, I had a, not too much because I, I, I was not in that position to push it to, to, to the apex, you know. Um, I, I left it with people who couldn't handle it properly. Although I haven't left it. Okay. But yeah, I have to continue. I mean, so, so you, but you are in a camp of a very successful act. Um, 
uh, he's also been involved in scandals. Does it work? Does stuff like this work? Create this whatever it is for 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 artists in the industry? Yes, it works. Um, it works in a manner that um, at the end of the day. You spend a couple of nights in police cells or you sleep at home. <laughs> so you see, um, that is where you ask yourself whether it makes sense. Okay. Because if the primary objective is to be um, popular within a certain period or garner a certain reaction from the fan base or expand your territories with regards to your fame, there are, if this is your MO, then, and you end up behind bars and you are prosecuted with whatever laws there are. And when you read from his um, own... The Post. The Post. There are certain lines that uh, impugns the integrity of the police service. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, but mm -hmm. from my standpoint, I'm like, okay, you are trying to confirm that indeed the police service is almost um, a waste of um, space and that when uh, you were prophesied to suffer something in advance, they, they were... They were dormant and did not take action. Yeah. Basically, that's what you are saying. Yeah. Now, if this is what you are, this is the type of slayer you are casting on the whole police service, do you think that, that, what kind of wisdom would inform you to do that? And what do you expect the police to do? To be lenient when you spent an extra night in, in, in behind bars and tomorrow you are headed to court? And then how does, how do we proceed from this kind of wisdom? So I would target and nonsense. There are instances of genius that artists um, double in to, for the same purpose of being more popular or being more relevant. Do you understand? So again, George Quay's situation that he cited, I do not see the genius bit here. I see nonsense throughout. Okay. I mean, I want to bring in Bobby Benson. Uh, yeah. Very quickly. If Very I quickly. Yes, yes. Yeah, George, George. Rasta may have a point, but you see, um, the part that I didn't get to before they came in was the fact that there's action and there's reaction. And one thing I may align where Rasta is going is, the, yes, that was a strategy. That was done. However, the consequence is always very important. Mm -hmm. The end game, what do you intend to achieve? Yeah. You understand? Could it be that the question we ought to ask ourselves is that did um, Shatawali analyze the possible end game, the outcome? Mm -hmm. How is the law going to react? Because if we are speaking about causing fear and panic, in this particular instance, I do not think the first person who caused it was Shatawale. I'll take it back to the man of God, or as it were. Because you see, you're all in the studio. If somebody should uh, just put it on social media, some pastor that, um, uh, God forbid, uh, Andy Dusty will not get home today, something will happen, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Look, do you know the kind of trauma? And that's why I said, God forbid, Andy. Do you know the kind of trauma <laughs> that people that love Andy, that care about him, that depend on him. Do you know what you've caused to those people? Do you understand? So that is where, for me, I would not put the blame first on Shatawali. Shatawali saw it and he said, ah, nobody's doing anything about this. Okay, let me also take advantage of it. And that is where I would again commend them for helping all of us to have this discussion. Because look, these pastors do this thing in our society a lot. And it causes trauma in the hearts of people. Evans, um, um, Rasta, Andy, myself. Um, if it should be announced that, look, wherever I am this evening, if I'm supposed to be home by tomorrow, by Sunday or Monday, it's, a, it's prophesied somewhere that I will never ever get home again. I would die before I, or something. Do you know the kind of trauma you've caused people that know me, people that depend on me, people that love me? Do you know what it's going to do to them? Do you know how devastated some of them are going to be? Do you know how worried some of them are going to be? Some of them are not going to eat. They are, to, they are going to want to go to. Are, are, are you suggest, are you, are you suggesting that faking this was justified because of the of the pastors? I'm saying that much as we may, or a lot of us may just sit back, and that is what we've done to Shatawali all these years. I mean, and there's no denying the fact that a lot of the things that he does sometimes have very harsh consequences. I have been at the receiving and and I wept when that thing happened at the VGMAs the last time. You I think wept? Was it 2019? Oh, I mean, oh, oh, seriously, you, 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 you wept? On my show, yes. I wept. What did Shatawale, 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 Shatawale do to you? Uh, the VGMA thing where Stoneboy was receiving an award the, and he was on, was on my show. the stage with he the He wept on my show. Ah, well, the, the, he was the event night. He was okay. the lead. What, which event? Is it the one they pulled the gun? The VGMAs, yes. The one they pulled the gun. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And you it, know, it was an anniversary, it, it, I remember. 
Yes, it was the anniversary event. It hit me very hard because I knew the work Charter House had put in uh, to make not just Ghana, but the whole Africa look good. Look, if anybody from Hollywood or anywhere in the world had watched that entire event, as had been cooked, as had been scripted, as had been planned, trust me, we would have had a certain different kind but, of... But that's, but that's a very interesting level. example. It's a very interesting example, you you know, because in the end, they, they didn't talk about the event you spend money to do. They right. talked about... Shatters yeah. act against you see, again, your man. Um, again, it worked in his favor. Whatever it is that he had planned worked for him. Now the point I'm making is, at what cost? I disagree that with you. The next okay. thing we also but, 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 hold on. You, why do you disagree? Because look, here is someone. Even after the event, he, he got banned. Yeah. Right. He had a, a whole lot of backlash. Too many people cursing him left, right, center. What, but, what, but, but, what Andy, but Andy, here's the thing. It was after that that he got that gig with. Beyonce, true? Yes, but how did that benefit? Yeah, how, how did he benefit at that stage? I mean, but my, my point is, that was the big, that was his biggest deal for anybody in Ghana. I mean, yes, but, yes, but how, how, how do you connote that? I mean, I, I mean, my, my point is, it didn't stop him from landing a very big deal. Yes, I mean, yes. and possibly Beyonce might have had, you know, it, does, it didn't matter to the brand. It actually helped the brand because the brand it was did bigger. Not help him in, in no, the, no, how did it help you that his um, artistic? Um, genius but, or his um, mm. lyrical prowess or his own musicianship is what fetched him the um, um, Beyonce gig. Exactly. Because mind you, Shatter has a huge following. Yeah. He is and but, it didn't, but it didn't kill the brand. Yes, you could argue that. Um, is, it that is it fact that after that, Shatter's brand is bigger? Uh, we can't quantify. Because it, it, was in, it was in as much trouble, even more trouble than because that was a gun. No, but your, your client was involved, so no, I mean, you, no, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so for persons like myself who were inside within the auditorium, yeah. it was not until we got to our homes or the day after that news broke or trickled that it out. Don't that, know you how that, bad it is. No, that my artist had um, a firearm or brandish or whatever the situation. Oh, so you didn't is. know that Stoneboy had no, one we, way was going. At that time, I was not working with him. Okay. I was with um, Trigmatic, uh, Reverend Estranya Miche, and then I think Stoneboy then were so two rows ahead of me, but we were in the same section. Okay. Now, none of us who suffered various degrees of um, trauma and injuries, because I know some sisters who also, there was a near stampede situation. True, true. Now, I'm saying that we within the auditorium and even I mean, fans watching from home, nobody knew what had transpired from the rece award recipient, that was um, Stoneboy's. What, what, did, what did that do to Stoneboy's brand? It was aftermath. I'm saying that on the night, yeah. Shatter's um, whatever he pulled was not to uh, provoke or did not include brandishing or an expo exposing a gun, a firearm there. Okay. So it was totally unplanned for. That was a reaction from his action. His action from behind the crowd yeah. right up onto the stage when at the time he was not invited. So these are two different situations. Yeah. I mean, be, beyond the facts of what happened, yes. I'm just curious. Yes. Because in the line of what we're talking yes. about, what did that do to his brand? Because I get I'll, a sense I'll, from what George is saying that he seemed to benefit of these crazy acts. Because there too, he was arrested. Yes, they both he have was arrested and, and charged. Yes, same as this. Yes. So he hasn't learned his lesson from our side. Did he benefit from that? From our, I mean, I, I need you guys. You are the experts in that. I, did he benefit from I that? I cannot speak for Shatter's brand, but from our side, um, I think that I mean Stoneboy. Yes, from Stoneboy's side, I think that um, even him would admit that uh, there's been some hitches, you okay. know, because um, I mean he's come out to publicly apologize and. Um, so that's by itself means that he he's, he regrets his act on okay. the, on the day. But beyond that act, whether it's had um, adverse effect on his brand, thankfully we are in a situation where he's also grown from strength to strength. Yeah. I mean, at the height of COVID, when um, there was a total lockdown, he released an album, and it's um, right up there the most successful albums, Angloga Junction album. Yeah. So. Even at that low ebb uh, when almost nothing was happening, he left, um, won international awards, and um, he's now a member of the Grammys Recording Academy. I mean, you could also say that he's also grown bigger. Grown. He's had um, serious corporate engagements and brand ambassadorial yeah. deals. It didn't uh, kill the brand. I, I, yeah, actually, I the brand has gone. Brand. Brand. I mean, so, but that's a big question, really, I, I want to probe. And that's what Quay, George Quay has been saying. But if this continues, then, it's almost certain that 
these acts from artists and whatever celebrities I talked about the woman the girl who went naked and mm. also was prosecuted mm. may not stop because they sort of tracking Shatawale from that incident. Um, Evans, hey, sorry. Uh, just a second. Uh, let me bring in uh, on lawyer. The night, on the night, yeah. it wasn't a stunt, the situation between Shata and yeah. Stoneboy. It wasn't a stunt. No. This is a stunt in a manner that um, planned. never no, no, experienced in before. Russ, I beg to differ. Okay, I mean, so, sorry, John. Sorry, sorry, say... sorry, John. John, forgive me. Let me bring in, okay. let me bring in Bobby Banson very quickly. He's a lawyer. Um, Bobby, right. thank you for joining us. Let me ask you. Um, legally, did Shatter bite more than he could chew? Good evening, Evans, and um, good evening to your uh, viewers and my fellow panelists, especially evening to Mr. George Quay, my very good friend. <laughs> um, I was enjoying the discourse, uh, looking at all angles of the situation. Um, Shatter uh, has been touted or has been said in a very jovial manner has quite a big mouth. So I don't think there's anything that <laughs> he can eat you if he bites. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> the question is legally, if there's anything that he, he can hang his, his head um, with what has happened. I, I think I, I agree with Andy. I think it was Andy who said that he may have underestimated the impact of, of this step. I think that I, I don't know what his team planned, um, whether they intended to, uh, like they said, stand to give him some publicity, which I think he may not need looking at his stature um, currently in the industry. Um, he may not have to do something this drastic to be able to come back to the fore. Um, I, I, that is what I, as a layman, but legally it's, it's quite an interesting situation. I would want to see how the police will prosecute this because they're only charge that comes closest is you causing fear and panic yeah. as it were. For, uh, spreading, is, spreading false information is one of the charges. That, that was the, the second thing I was coming yeah. to. Okay. Um, and spreading um, false information or rumor or re, you know, publishing it as well without necessarily checking to verify whether it was true or not. Now you see, Shata, you ask Shatawale himself or his PA one of them or both of them decided to put it out there that this is what has happened. Now, with, with, with such matters, and I've looked at the law, it's, it seems to me that there must be clear intent, mm. the consequences of your actions, in okay. that it is not one that is a strict liability that the lawyers would say that irrespective of whether you intended your action to result in the consequences that eventually happened, you would be found um, uh, culpable of falling foul of the law. I think that the, and this is where uh, I, I don't see a lot of traction going on. I, I think that if the police decide to go after Shatawale or his PA or any person who first broke the news, I think that the media houses also would have a role to play. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the <clears throat> second part of that law, it is not the person who generated the rumor first. It is whoever decides to republish it Yep. And more importantly, without trying to verify it. Mm. And that, that is the part of the law that I don't hear a lot of discussion on. And so I think it also serves as a wake-up call. So that if tomorrow Shatter PA puts on his Twitter handle or a social media page that Shatter has been shot, and then X, Y, Z, sorry, there's a radio station like that. I was going to say, <laughs> that. I was going to say ABC radio station or ABC But, but there's another station. media house called ABC. ABC. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Decides to publish it without showing the police evidence of them contact, trying to contact Shatter directly or any police station or any um, uh, medical facility to confirm. That media house, per the law, is also culpable. And so, with so, that so let me ask you on on a, on, a, on a shutter one. It's possible. The, so it's possible the police can get him on the causing fear and panic. Um, I I, I honestly think it may be a stretch. Okay. Now the reason why it may be a stretch, and I know the popular legal opinion has been they can hang him. The reason why it may be a stretch, you see, with every public prosecution such as this, there must be a clear complainant. Mm. The police must be able to adduce tangible evidence or quantifiable evidence or verifiable evidence of someone who was directly or indirectly affected 
by what we are calling stunt now. Okay, so in other words, who, 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 who was panicked? Who panicked and who, who yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now, it, when the uh, uh, um, um, prophet or whoever that person was made that prophecy, Shatawale could have walked to the police station and have said, listen, so and so and so has made this publication about me, right. for which reason I am in fear of my life on this day, I'm panicking. Okay. With that, Shatta could have been a complainant for that police officer, oh sorry, for that prophet to have been arrested and then maybe investigations would have gone on and they could have decided to have preferred the necessary charge. But you have a situation where Shatawale himself, or as it has now come to be accepted, his team decided to put it out there in the public that listen, I have been shot. Now, somebody must stand up and say that that publication or that spreading that false rumor resulted in fear or panic or disturbed the public peace. Mm. I think that the police may be tempted to stretch the argument to say that it disturbed public peace because for that period, the, should I say the whole entertainment industry or the whole media space was, was discussing it. And, but again, I, I don't know how they'll be able to prove <clears throat> that in a very objective court of law. But very interesting, very interesting, Bobby. Uh, very, very interesting in inputs there. Uh, I want to come to my, my, my guests so that we can wrap up on a very interesting point. On the back of what has been said, and many, dis many say, well, either he's going to jail for two years, and as Bobby has said, he may get away with it. What's your reading on what this will mean long term for Shatter? But um, for the industry, right? This is not the first time he's having a brush with the law, having done something outrageous, getting into handcuffs, spending some time in the cell. He comes out, as we've indicated, he gets a big deal with, um, you know, Beyonce. He's out there. He's, he's the... what, what do you think this will mean? Is, is it much ado about nothing? He goes away, industry comes back to normal. The next time, the next big act might do something very similar. Well, before, <clears throat> excuse me, before I even answer your question, yeah. and Bobby mentioned something that, well, he, he could have um, reported it to the police. Yeah. He stated on his Facebook page that, IGP, I'm not hiding, I'm quoting what he wrote. Okay. I'm not hiding, but the information I have is what I'm acting on. I've reported this before, mm. and you guys are telling me to come report again? Wow, Ghana and Pat. This means he had reported it. Okay. Now, this morning, I did an interview with, with uh, Superintendent Alex Obing, and I asked him that he claims he has reported. Is there any evidence? Is there any exhibit? Right? Unfortunately, I couldn't get the right answer, mm. but that's fine. So I'm thinking that they should pull out. They should ask him. <coughs> when did you last? What was that? Yes. Right. <coughs> now, to your question. Your question. Um, what, what happens now? What, 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 is this, what does this say? I, I, I feel like, well, what, what he does next wouldn't really matter. The reason is that even at the height of this whole, uh, how do you call it? Yeah, no, Nonsense. <laughs> even at that time, a lot of people brushed it aside. They were all thinking that, oh, it's a hoax. You know this guy, mm. he does it, he does it, he does it. Mm. It looks like people are getting fed up. Yeah. You understand? It but, but he's not, it's not only Shatter. I want to, last comments, not go beyond Shatter a bit. Um, <clears throat> does this, first of all, quick one. What does this mean? What, what would this do to Shatter's brand? Very quick, very quick response. Um, I don't see him losing his Casa Preco deal. I or don't see or him uh, Infinix. Inf Infinix. These are brands. Uh, mind you, people are out there jubilating and free fat, uh, Shatter um, movement. Hashtag flying out. These are citizens too, yeah. and they they dote on him. So, in as much as maybe I would say it is nonsense to them, it makes a lot of sense. So, does he does he make it with his brand um, benefit? Hey, let me give you an answer. Wait, wait, on the brand. Just a second, I'll come to you. Would his brand benefit yeah. or yes. suffer? Yeah, I think his brand has already benefited of this. Yes. Interesting. Hold on, hold on. What, what would you say? Would his brand benefit or suffer? He won't suffer. So he will benefit. He won't benefit. Okay. Uh, George, yes, go. <laughs> I beg to differ. Evans, just look a little bit to your left to the screen behind you. What yeah. do you see on that screen? I see him. You see him? Yeah. You know how long he's been there for? For one hour. If it were a Coca-Cola bottle that was there, how much would it have cost? Uh, how much would, would you have made Just as you're wearing right an now? image bureau shirt. You do a lot of money. Well, that's my brand. How much <laughs> would it have made a firm by now? But he is there for free, isn't he? Yes. 
Well, that's your answer. Yeah. So, 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 for, so for you, so for you, he will benefit off this. It is he's already and he's already benefiting. <laughs> okay, now and he's about to release an album. Okay, the man oh. has gotten everybody's attention. It doesn't oh. matter what happens with the police. Whatever happens, it is not a life sentence. Whatever happens, it might be a fine misdemeanor or something. The lawyer would know what it's going to be. But like lawyer rightly said, the burden of proof is going to be on the police. I mean, and John, there must be a complaint. John, I see Shatawali walking out and releasing his album, and the album is going to go ahead to be successful. John. One one quick second. So for the for the, everybody else watching the industry, if this is going to help him, then we probably will have to prepare ourselves to see more of this crazy art as we've seen it before. Like I said, there would always be consequences. Not everybody is a Shatawali. Once upon a time, there was a Waisa. He's not here today. True. Not everybody is a Shatawali. Okay. What works for Shatawali might not necessarily work for Adidosti. Well, Adidosti, so Adidosti, tread cautiously Adidosti and same, tread wisely. same question. Would you see this encouraging other people in the industry to do same? Yeah, yeah. What didn't take your pimp alone do? Ah, <laughs> thank you. Look, thank you very much. Um, well, let's see how this plays out. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm